But we were going around saying no to drugs, and we would block our Coverage Road apartments, and it would be like 40, 50 kids. These kids are grown now, and they even come to me now and tell me how they were so influenced with what I did with them because they kept them off the drugs. You kept them from out here having babies at young age, kept them in school. So we've done a lot here in Randolph County. But tonight, uh, we come back together. We kind of slacked off because uh, some of our members of the committee passed away. We want to come together and do something. So we want to come. I'm sure y'all have things going on in Trinity House Division. The county is what outside of Woodlawn. And not only that, but they have their back there. That also uh, focus on ideas for you. I've been wanting to have a drum now. I'm going to touch with some people from here. You know, I think who I was blessed. I thank God anointed me to be the sheriff of Randolph County, and I give him all the praise and, and glory for that. We, uh, we did something that nobody else has ever done in the history of Randolph County, and that's being an incumbent. And, um, and I'm glad that God chose me to do it. You know, I haven't listened to hear from them. Also, we had a drum. Uh, also, we talked about the clean sweep, Brian. Drugs is all over the county, so we need to work together uh, and keep fighting the drug problem. Uh, so much of the crime, if you really broke it down, will go back and it'll relate to drugs somehow. I'm talking even the larcenies that occur at Walmart, uh, they're going there to steal something, to sell it, to go buy some drugs. We are, like I said, we are trying to reach young people before they even get started. But we know that it's not just the young people. It starts with the family as a whole. So one way that we're trying to reach the community is through this Block Your Meds campaign. So we, um, as you mentioned about the opioid crisis, this is one way we're trying to help with that crisis as well. Terry is Miss Kathy Morrison, dancing and uh, different things like that going on. So we had, we had community leaders to lead us out, and we just marched. Memorial Line from 94 to 2013, for the third shift in order to coach football. I am from Coleridge, so um, I'm in the country. There's not much to do in the country. <laughs> but we still have problems down there that still need to be resolved. Um, one thing that I see that we don't have enough around here as growing up around the Randolph County area, it's things for the youth to do. There's nothing really to do when the three month of summers come. They're not constantly being at school from this time to that time. So because they're not at school, guess what? Now we have time to hang out with cousins, uncles, aunts. We have time to hang out with people we're not supposed to be hanging out with. Those less fortunate in the holiday season, Murder uh, victims' families. Like I use, for instance, 